the movie industry just keeps on chugging down that rabbit hole. Wonder Woman 1984 and Black Widow were delayed due to coronavirus. Now, I made a video a couple of um, a couple of weeks back about movies that were delayed. And now Black Widow and Wonder Woman 1984 is added to the shelf. Um, Black Widow doesn't have a um, date yet, but Wonder Woman 1984, new date, is August 14th. 2020 and we're about to talk about my thoughts about that about black widow all that fun stuff if you guys like this video you guys want to see more movie news updates on this channel let me know you guys' thoughts leave a like as well with really it is something you guys you really enjoy this channel so without further ado let's talk about it. so really this entire whole coronavirus thing i'm not going to get into every video i've made that's about movie movies getting canceled or delayed due to coronavirus i've just tried to really skimp over the coronavirus um topic and mm, i'm i'm gonna talk about the movies first and then maybe at the end i'll give kind of my whole um experience of what i think this is doing not just to the movie industry but to other businesses around the world uh, due to this virus but that's to the end of this video let's talk about the movies first up black widow was delayed and i talked about this in my, my newest episode of the podcast I'll link down in the description if you guys are interested in it um yeah that i'm not surprised this doesn't surprise me at the slightest. This big news that, oh, Black Widow was delayed due to coronavirus, it doesn't surprise me. I was really just waiting for it to be delayed, and I was disappointed. And a lot of films that have been delayed, it's been an insane ride, it's been an insane roller coaster, and no film in movie history has really seen this amount of chaos. A movie hasn't come out in a really long time. The last movie I saw in the cinemas was Sonic the Hedgehog back in Valentine's Day. So it's been a month in like two weeks since a movie like a, a like a movie has really come out. And that's a really long time, but through this coronavirus and Black Widow being delayed, I was looking forward to it. I think a lot of MCU fans, it is a lot of fans of big blockbuster films in general really looking really looking forward to this film. And now we have to wait until who knows what time. And really, this sucks. I'm going to be honest because I would like, I knew this was coming. Though. I knew this was coming. And 2020 so far has been a pretty crap year for films, I, I would say. It's been a pretty rough, pretty rough time so far. There's been some, the movies that have come out, they've been really enjoyable, besides some. But yeah, it being delayed doesn't really surprise me. Then Black Wit Wonder Woman 1984 was delayed from June to August 14th, um, August 14th, um, 2020. About two months af after it was supposed to come out. Again, this doesn't surprise me. Um, this has been something that we really. I was, I was, I was. I, my my excitement for Wonder Woman 1984 wasn't as high as Black Widow was. But yeah, I, I was so really looking forward to actually seeing this film, and now that it's we're not going to see it for another couple couple of months. But I feel like I feel like it's better in August. August is a very big summer month with a lot of great movies, and why I think it would have been great in June. And a lot of films are getting to listen. There's so much, so much debate and so much chaos going around with these movies being delayed about the coronavirus and about all these things that really I don't really want to get into. This channel was made to talk about films and talk about it freely and in a fun um, discussion way. But on the other hand, this coronavirus is 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 is, is harming of films and is harming the film industry. And that's what this channel is about: talking about all types of different movies and movie news and movie um. So, scenarios and really this is a movie scenario it's a worldly scenario as well but i think i sh shouldn't i should not talk about this just because it's not a film it's 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 hurting not just the film industry but businesses stores people everything around the world but I'm just going to focus in on the movie business because that's what this channel is. It's about film, and it's always going to be about film, if I can help it. And really, it's delayed a lot of films. It's delayed, I think, about 10 to 15, like 10 to 11 films have been delayed now. And I already made that massive video about a f a films, and here are two other films that have been delayed. And it really does suck. I'm not going to lie. It does. 
absolutely suck. There's two sides of this, though, that I understand. I understand why Black Widow was delayed. Disney wants to make their money. I understand why Woman 1989, 1984 was delayed. It wants to make money. People want to see that. They don't want to just risk putting it out in June or putting it out in May and no one's going to come out of their homes because they don't want to get this disease. I understand that. It's a scary and very worldly scenario. But again, this is affecting so many other businesses. And there's two sides. I've said this in my podcast, and I think I said this in my, video, um, my um, other video I made about this. There's two sides of me that I understand. One side, who really doesn't like this, who's just a fan of these films I really want to see. Then another side of me that understands, I need to be realistic. I can't just be mad because these films that I've really wanted to see, and some of them were my most anticipated of the year, because I have to wait a couple more months to see them. I sh- well, some of them, you have to wait another year to see them. And this is how life works. Life is going to give you some hard things and hard decisions, and you got to sacrifice some things to be safe. And really, I'm... If this thing was going around and Wonder Woman and Black Widow came out, I would probably not risk it for those films. I'm, hap- I'm more happy that I get to see those films, hopefully when everything dies down more and the theaters and everything can go back to normal. Now, again, another thing is, how will these theaters recover from these scenarios? How will these theaters recover after all these delays? Um, like, F9, Fast and Furious 9, has a whole year of a delay. It was from um, May 2020, now April of next year. And that was that's a big gap. And I'm hoping theaters survive. There's um, a lot of local cinemas buying, especially one not that far from me. That's a pretty smaller one. People still do go to it, but it's a more, more smaller one. I'm I'm hoping since it's not a massive cinema that it can really pick itself back up and get back into the swing of it. When Wonder Woman 1984, I think would help this theater especially from getting um, over it. And let's say this goes over in July. Tenants coming out in July. A lot of other films, and then you got One Woman, and then you got a whole bunch of other films. So really, I think for the first like five months, four months, six months, the latest, we're not going to get really any films. But then the rest of the months, until the year's over, and hopefully beyond, we're going to hopefully get some amazing films, and hopefully we're going to get some great films. Those are my thoughts on One Woman and Black Widow being delayed, along with this whole coronavirus movie affecting. Thing. What did you think of these? I'll let you know all your thoughts down in the comments section below. What do you think of this whole situation? I'll let you know your guys' thoughts. Like this video, you guys haven't already really helped this channel a ton. You guys can also subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like my content. You'd probably like other content I have on this channel. You guys can check out my Insta- my my podcast, the Two Piece in a Pod podcast. I do every single Tuesday. I also have my newest episode where I talk about this. Um. Um, onward a whole bunch of stuff you guys can also check out my gaming channel general daniel gaming also link in the description i've been doing some micro videos it's a really fun time so if you kind of like this content it's a bit different over there but same personality you guys can also check out my instagram at general underscore daniel 77 thanks for watching guys and i'll see